Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.0.3. Now this is a really small update, and this came in at a very small 75.4 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number quick, and then we'll talk about what's in it. You can see the build is 14A551, and this particular build is really small, and this basically pertains only to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, so it's available on these two devices or the other colors, of course, but the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are both getting these updates. Now, I did an earlier video on iOS 10.1 Beta 4 available for developers and public beta testers on the iPhone 7 Plus, so that's pretty much fixed in that version, but as far as the, the 7 goes or the 7 Plus running 10.0.2, people were having connectivity issues. It was initially recognized on Verizon, and what would happen is if you look up here in this corner, you'll see it says T-Mobile, and it was basically Verizon users noticed this, and it kind of trickled to other carriers. So what would happen is you'd jump off Wi-Fi, and instead of going to LTE, it would go to 3G or even 2G or no service. And the way you would resolve this is flip on airport mode, turn it off, and then it would solve that problem. So Apple has resolved this with a simple patch in 10.0.3. Now, that was a pretty annoying bug. I experienced it on T-Mobile with my iPhone 7 Plus, and my wife experienced it on her iPhone 7, this particular phone, and now it's resolved. So it's a pretty simple update, but a needed update, and I'm glad that they resolved that. It did happen to me a few times, and basically, that's it. So Apple will be releasing iOS 10.1 probably within a week or two, I would assume. Uh, there should be an Apple event later this month announcing new MacBooks, and maybe there's something to coincide with that. I'm not really sure, but it'll be nice to see whatever they have. Hopefully they'll update their MacBook line that's basically outdated by three years at this point as far as specs are concerned. So hopefully they'll get that going, and we'll see 10.1, and that will be great. And 10.1 has been working great on my iPhone 7 plus especially 10.1 beta 3 and now beta 4 they seem to be pretty good but it's hard to say with just a few hours with beta 4 but let me know your experience in the comments below did you have that bug on 10.0.2 or earlier and is it resolved for you now does it seem like it's fixed let us know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time